Hello everyone, the topic that I would like to discuss with you today is about drug education. Hopefully in this topic that you will be able to see the importance of the awareness of drug education. So let's begin with the meaning of drug education. Drug education is the planned provision of information, resources, and skills relevant to living in a world where psychoactive substances are widely available and commonly used for a variety of both medical and non-medical purposes, some of which may lead to harm such as overdose, injury, infectious disease such as HIV or hepatitis, or addiction so when we say psychoactive substance these are not just about drugs that is available in the pharmacy but also substance that are also legally sold in in the convenience stores or in the groceries next let's talk about drug problem the prevalence of illegal drug use in the Philippines is lower than the global average according to the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime or UNODC and President Rodrigo Duterte has claimed that the country could become a narco state. Two of the most used and valuable illegal drugs in the country are methamphetamine hydrochloride known locally as shabu and marijuana so we have a lot of uh, people in our country who also used illegal drugs particularly illegal drugs and most of these people are living in the cities particularly in manila many of the barangays in this capital city of our country have active uh, use of illegal drugs at this point let us understand drug dependence according to the american psychiatric association drug dependence occurs when you need one or more drugs to function and the apa used to distinguish between the dependence and abuse. Abuse was considered the mild or early phase of inappropriate drug use that lead, led to dependence. And people view dependence as a more severe problem than abuse. Now at this point I uh, will clarify what is this drug addiction and dependence and the American Psychiatric Association do not anymore use the term drug addict or drug addiction but they in 2013 they changed this word from drug addiction to uh, substance use disorder okay here are the common signs of drug use number one is cravings so if you know someone who crave for this it's already a sign of drug use number two tolerance so uh, as he as the, as the person progresses and takes drugs uh, there is an increase of the taking in order to feel the effect of the drugs in in his or her body and then we also have this withdrawal symptom so there are most probably a, a, a a recurring uh, attempt to withdraw from the drugs and then number four is physical dependence number five poor judgment so there is uh, always the short uh, in 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 his decisions in in poor judgment in the way he uh, decides for certain situations and then number six drug seeking so the person is already seeking for drugs no so and then number seven financial trouble so this time you are going to cheat or perhaps you're going to take money from your parents if you are a, a young 
young or you are already uh, involved in uh, taking money without uh, in in illegal manner number eight neglect responsibility so you don't if you are working you prefer to take drugs or use uh, look for money instead of meeting deadlines on your work and then number nine developing unhealthy friendships so there are you are easily irritated or you started to have a friends that uh, new sets of friends because your old friends no longer understand your behavior number 10 is isolate so this is another common signs of drug use that you started to isolate yourself now here are the effects of drug abuse so drug abuse of drugs can cause serious harm to physical health and also in your mental health now, nearly every system and organ in the body may be affected by drug abuse your cardiovascular system meaning it's in your heart the respiratory system the kid there is damage in your kidney and then also your liver and gastrointestinal damage okay as to the mental state or your mental health there are other ways in which the brain is changed from long-term drug abuse number one is impaired cognitive function no so you cannot anymore function well uh, your mind cannot process well analyzing situations that will benefit your own decisions cannot do that anymore changes in memory so you are the strong tendency of forgetfulness changes in brain connections so you cannot anymore process properly the informations that you are going to hear or receive from uh, uh, from the surrounding situations and then brain cells die so as soon as the cells of your brain die there is already a short in in the way you process informations and make judgment here is the other effects of drug abuse aside from the self abuse of drugs also affect the family namely number one the family members develop intense feelings of humiliation and guilt no? number two the the family members will have low self-esteem number three the spirit of togetherness and unity are broken so this is a sad experience and then there will be the